Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Wednesday, May 21st, 2014. Well, nothing really on the news front yesterday to review. Um, today we have FOMC minutes at 2 p.m. That's a, going to be a biggie and we'll see if there's going to be further reduction in QE2. I sort of doubt it right now but um, it, there could be because actually they were going to stop it if unemployment got below a certain percentage and I believe it's below that now okay uh, and then uh, petroleum status report at 1030 this morning and we'll take a little bit of a closer look at oil Let's take a look at what's going on across the ponds. Um, oops, there's that little right mouse click again. Okay, over in Asia, we are mixed to almost flat. Nothing really exciting over there on a percent change. And in Europe, uh, we are mixed there as well. Um, a tad bit more bearish than bullish. All right, that's enough with that. Let's take a look at the futures here in the U.S. We're looking like as though we might gap up a tad this morning after a rough day yesterday. And gold is down to 12.93, not helping my GLD covered call here at all. Oil, though, is up to 103.15, and we are going to take a look at the futures chart on oil. Let's switch over to a weekly. So what we see here is in August of last year, and I didn't really notice, believe it or not, I mean, I've been doing these videos for quite a while. I guess I wasn't at that time looking at oil. Um, we were actually hit $112.24 a barrel for oil. Now, um, I was a bit the preoccupied at this time last year with, you know, building a house and everything else and all the trips back and forth and trying to sell uh, the house that I had. And uh, it was kind of crazy, so I probably was not really paying too much attention to this. But seeing oil right now at 103 and just bouncing along this upward bending moving average here um, makes me a little bit concerned that uh, oil as a commodity may be going through another bull run here. And I don't like that because it's not really good for the economies around the world when oil peaks up and if it stays up there. Man, I can remember when it was 25 or $30 a barrel. And that wasn't really all that long ago. I believe it was uh, probably around 2000, 2001, if we had an older, we could bring up an older chart, I suppose, uh, where oil hit $100 a barrel and that was a big deal. And now it just never really gets very much below that. But that's the way things are, you know, inflation is part of life. I guess. Anyway, uh, enough rambling about oil. Let's take a look at quickly what happened yesterday. All right, I bailed on SPX. I had a, I think I had a bull put on that. Let me just go back to a daily here. Yes, I did, and I got out of it. Not liking the way it was heading. So now, um, it's a decision on whether or not we want to do a bear call on this with a 20 delta. So the problem with this one was I had to get a price so close to it because I wasn't watching my expiration. If I would have had an expiration, maybe out here I could be sitting possibly at a level down here about eight, maybe 1855 or so. And it would be still kind of safe. <clears throat> looking at the possible gap up this morning. 
So that was my dumb mistake, and that's probably about a hundred and eighty dollar mistake or somewhere around there, I think, on that. Maybe more. Um, but I did enter uh, bear calls on RUT, NDX, and those are 20 deltas and a 50 delta on Visa, and we'll take a look at those as we go through the A-plus list. Bring up our Analyze tab and Risk Profile, and let's get started. Lead-off hitter is Apple. And we are looking for a move down to our target, so we have a while to wait for that. Amazon, nothing live there. We are in, um, we are in setup territory here. So noted. Boeing, we're in Boeing. Uh, didn't have a very good move yesterday, but we have a little bit of time for this one. So we are not going to panic at this time, even though we got a double red here. Um, thinking that we just need to give this just a little bit more time for it to hook back up again. Which it should do uh, if we're to believe in the cycles, although we had a failure here. And I had a couple of little choppy uh, incidences in here. This one doesn't look too promising, but we were in a downtrend at that time. So now we're in a slight uptrend, which is a part of the reason why we picked a 20 delta on this one. So we're just going to wait and see. IV percentile is very low, so I'm figuring that there's not a lot of implied volatility with Boeing at the moment and that is usually a bullish sign. Though I don't, this is not part of my rules over here. Like somebody asked me, why, you know, how do you use that? Well, I don't usually use it. If I'm looking for reasons to violate rules, like here, <laughs> I don't really have exit rules for the 20 deltas. I usually like to let them ride a little bit. Let them work themselves out over time. Okay, on Baidu, nothing live. And uh, could have, they weren't on a list yesterday, were they on a list? They haven't been on a list for quite a while. Really had, uh, did not have them it's in a downtrend here, and I'm not real excited about this particular um, spot right here. So, I'm just as soon as I can get this up here, I might consider a 20 delta or maybe even a 50 delta here. Uh, today, they've already marked something here. Looks pretty flat to me. So, that's why we're going to stick with a 20 delta. On Baidu. So that's a setup for a 20 Delta. Okay, Celgene. Uh, looking for a 20 Delta up here. Chipotle. Uh, we missed it. So we had a violation there. Um, could do a 20 Delta here because we never really got up to 70 before it hooked back down but I'll just wait I could get rid of that get rid of the target oh did I not mark this one I have Costco May 5 at 118 oh okay we're up here that's why I marked it we're just waiting for that one to work itself out a little bit. CVX, we are in. We are close to max here. Let's see. Max is 200. We're at 105, so we're 50%. And how is it looking chart-wise? Let's see here. Uh, it's moving in our direction, so we can probably pull a little bit more out of this. I think it has more potential for profit. 
at this time. Um, we have a little bit uh, double green here, but that's not for a 20 delta. That's not a reason to exit. So we'll wait on that. DIA. Let's see how the Dow did not have a good day yesterday. Let's take a look at a week. Excuse me, a weekly on that. Okay. Um, yeah, it's having a little trouble here at the top. It's a little top heavy. We'll see how that works out. I can't really predict anything. Uh, we may have a slight gap up today, but we may have a continuation. We may have a trend change. We definitely had a failure here. Interesting, that's all I can say. I really can't draw any conclusions from that at all. EOG, we were looking for um, an entry yesterday. We did not get it. Uh, we got one more day. Remember, we wait three days, so we got one more day on that. Starting to get a little bit long in the tooth here, though, I think. FedEx. Uh, okay, we... This was must have been alertable or something, wasn't it? I didn't put an alert on this. Let me see. Fed yeah, I did have an alert on it. Alert triggered. And then it died on us. Apparently. I don't remember this alert going off, though. Hmm. But it failed, so no longer valid. Didn't give us an entry. The price did move above the previous day, but quickly pulled back right at the open, and it's... So that... Uh, rules kept us out. Remember, do not trade before 10 o'clock, and at 10 o'clock it was actually below, and just continued downward. It was below the close from the previous day at 10 o'clock, opened up here. And here was the close from yesterday. So it kept us out. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, F5 Networks. Uh, we're in a downtrend. This uh, I don't know. It could be, I guess you could call this maybe a 20 delta trade just because we didn't get down here. Um, so I'm going to look at that today as a 20 delta for a bear call. I will, okay, okay, I'll put a yellow target up here just so we know for tomorrow if nothing works out that we were looking at this for a 20 delta. We need the hook down on a stochastic. <laughs> Gold, you're killing me, man. Um, might it move up? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not trading this even on a 20 delta basis. I will put it in the list, though, because it is a pretty good 20 delta candidate, at least right now on the uh, bull put side. Well, maybe I will trade it. Don't be surprised if I jump in on this tomorrow. Um, if you see tomorrow that I jumped in on it today. Uh, Google. Okay, we're looking good here. We have a setup on Google. All right, moving right along. LinkedIn. We we're looking to do... We still have a setup on LinkedIn. We have... Uh, confirmation on the MACD but we don't have the trigger did not go off on the setup here for the stochastic so it's still in setup mode it is not in alert mode okay and 3M we're in and we're not getting any data here Ooh, didn't have a good day yesterday, did it? I did not look in the afternoon at it. I should have exited this yesterday. Not sure exactly. 168. Looks like we're 
it's telling us we're at max loss, but there's no, I don't know, there's no data coming in here. So that's kind of weird. That has happened previously in the past. NDX. Uh, well, let's take a look at a chart on 3M and see what, uh, yes, there should have been an exit here. I have to take a look at them this morning and see what might be going on there. So I'll make a note of that for myself. NDX. Uh, we're in on that with a 20 delta. Um, I do believe that yesterday, that <laughs> in the morning, or whenever that was when I got in on this, that we had... Um, let's take a look here. We can tell right quick. Uh, about 3.30, honestly. Wow. Getting late in the afternoon on that. Um, and I had a hook down. Maybe not. Maybe not. But anyway, we're in it with a bear call. And this was a 20 Delta. Netflix. nothing there and they're uh, actually taking off this morning so I believe we probably are going to be having a trend reversal coming up here very soon on Netflix Priceline all right we are still in we're in setup mode on Priceline and it's looking actually kind of powerful to tell you the truth um, it's moving nicely counter to the market too, which I kind of like that. So this is going in on our setups for today. And remember, Wednesday is my favorite day to trade. Russell, we're in on Russell with a 20 delta. We're just going to let that ride for a while. SPX, we got out of that yesterday. Um, Maybe it may end up being a not a good decision, but this expiration for this Friday was the bad decision on that. So I'm just going to get rid of all drawings. I'll forget about this dumb mistake that I made. Make sure you watch your expiration dates when you're switching between, between 50 and 20 deltas. That's all I can say. So, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is there anything going on today? Mmm. Yeah, it'll be kind of chasing if we flipped on SPX. So we're just going to wait. We're in Russell and NDX, which are a little bit stronger. TLT, of course, we have several things going on with TLT. We're still looking for uh, entry here on a 20 Delta. So it's going on our list again for today. We're getting down there. Tesla. A um, little shaky. Nothing good going on with Tesla for an entry. Union Pacific. Uh, we have target set down here, waiting for it to come down to our target. And Visa. We are in Visa with a 50 Delta. Uh, we got in yesterday so that's the way we're looking with that one so our target actually only took like two days for our, our target to trigger so here it is right there bingo okay so that's the last one on our list that is it for today Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and above all, happy trading.